here look and I'd like to first of all thank members for your uh, thoughtful and constructive statements um, uh, in support of the motion before the House today and it's clear from the statements over the last hour or so that there's widespread support here in the Air and for a citizens assembly on drugs use and there's also a clear sense of the urgency of this task. As I said in my opening remarks uh, this country has seen too much pain and suffering caused by drugs use. Too many families have lost loved ones through overdose. Too many lives have been ruined by addiction. Too many communities have been living in fear of the criminal gangs that supply drugs in towns and villages across our country. As the debate here today has once again demonstrated, the challenges arising from drug use are complex and multifaceted. And while we know there are no easy answers, there is a clear sense in this House and beyond that the time has come for bold action and new solutions. This is why the decision to establish a Citizens' Assembly to look at the issues is so timely. Citizens' Assemblies serve to enhance the quality of Ireland's democratic system. Previous assemblies have shown that members of the general public have an important contribution to make to addressing complex societal ch challenges and I expect that the Citizens' Assembly on Drugs Use will be no different in this regard. In your statements here today, deputies have identified a range of priorities that they think the Citizens' Assembly on Drugs Use should address. A number of motions have been tabled that seek to nuance the terms of reference or explicitly itemise various things that deputies believe the Citizens' Assembly should look at. And I fully appreciate the intent behind these proposed amendments. Every deputy who has spoken today has a keen interest in ensuring that the Citizens' Assembly does not overlook or neglect important issues. All parties here are looking for the same outcome, which is a comprehensive, careful and considered process where the Citizens' Assembly looks at all issues mentioned by the deputies here today. And experience shows us not to be overly prescriptive or too detailed in the terms of reference. We need to trust the process and the members of the Citizens' Assembly. Let us recall that Ireland's Citizens' Assembly model is regarded internationally as a leading exemplar of deliberative democracy in action. Citizens' Assemblies have become a valuable part of Ireland's democratic system. Recommendations from the Citizens' Assembly can have a considerable influence on changes to policy, legislation and even the Constitution. They also have a significant role in informing the wider public debate on important topics. Previous assemblies have made recommendations on topics such as marriage equality, repeal of the Eighth Amendment, gender equality, climate change and biodiversity. We must continue to learn from experience and build on what has worked successfully in the past. This principle applies in particular to the framing of the terms of reference. We know from past experience that overly detailed terms of reference can inadvertently inhibit the autonomy, discretion and the flexibility for the Citizens' Assembly to define and to organise its work programme as it deems appropriate. Past experience with Citizens' Assemblies have proven time and again that the Oireachtas can trust and indeed must trust both the process and the members of the Assembly. Uh, the importance of the voice of young people was raised here today and I want to ensure uh, and reassure you that the voice of young people is heard at the Citizens' Assembly and to this end I've initiated a consultation with young people through Corla Nanog and uh, youth drug projects across the country which will be presented to the Citizens' Assembly for its consideration. Um, also regarding the selection of the Citizens' Assembly, uh, the, there is now a new and improved uh, method for randomly selecting members. People are not handpicked. There is no guarantee that every county will have a person on the Citizens' Assembly, but there is a guarantee that the final 99 members will correspond with the population profile by region, age group and gender. Uh, I am satisfied that the terms of reference as set out in the motion gives the Citizens' Assembly the scope and the flexibility it needs to consider all relevant matters relating to drug use. And this includes each and every issue that members have raised and emphasised here today. The Citizens' Assembly Secretariat will be fully appraised of the debate that has taken, here today, taken place here today and will be cognisant of the concerns and the priorities that you've all highlighted. Ultimately, it will be up to the members of the Citizens' Assembly to determine
determine their own work program. And once we are clear that the terms of reference are sufficiently well defined to allow for the Assembly to examine the issues, then we need to step back, respect the independence of the process and allow the members the space and the freedom to get on with the task in hand. And in due course, the Assembly will report back to the Oireachtas, at which point the appropriate committees will have the opportunity the opportunity to consider and debate and respond to the report and its recommendations. And meanwhile, I'm pleased to confirm that the Assembly will be up and running in a few short weeks. Recruitment of members will begin in the coming days and the first meeting of the Assembly will take place in mid-April. All going according to schedule, the Assembly is due to report back to the Oireachtas by the end of the year. And Cahirlach, um, I'd like to finish by wishing the Citizens' Assembly every success in their work and I look forward to seeing the outcome of their deliberations in due course. Thank you.